हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड स्विचिंग मॉड्यूलेटर स्विचिंग मॉड्यूलेटर इज यूज्ड टू जनरेट द एम्पलीट्यूड मॉड्यूलेटेड सिग्नल सो इट इज यूज्ड टू जनरेट द एएम सिग्नल हियर ए डायोड इज यूज्ड दैट इज एक्टिंग एज अ स्विच and this circuit is producing the am signal that's why it is known as switching modulator switching modulator consists of an ideal diode which is used as a switch and this diode is followed by a bandpass filter which is tuned to frequency fc which means this bandpass filter will allow the signals that is having the frequency fc the message signal as well as the carrier signal are simultaneously applied as an input to the diode so the input voltage v1 of t will depend upon the message signal and the carrier signal here the amplitude of carrier signal is very much greater than the amplitude of message signal that's why we can say the diode on off operation is controlled by the carrier signal c of t so the output voltage v2 of t of the diode will depend upon the carrier signal c of t here output voltage v2 of t will be equal to v1 of t when carrier signal is positive and v2 of t will be equal to 0 when carrier signal is negative during positive half of carrier signal the diode will be on and during negative half of carrier signal the diode will be off so that is shown by this control signal where the diode is on for the period t not and it will be off when the carrier signal is having negative half of the input cycle so during positive half of the input cycle diode will be on and during negative half of the input cycle of the carrier signal the diode will be off so this is the concept you need to remember this graph shows the relationship between the input voltage and output voltage during positive half of the input cycle the output voltage will depend upon the input voltage linearly so during negative half of the input cycle the output voltage will be zero the total input voltage to the diode can be given as v1 of t that is equal to m of t plus c of t so we can write the above expression as v1 of t is equal to m of t plus ac cos 2 pi fc t let us call this as equation number 1 here you need to remember that the amplitude of carrier signal c of t is very much greater than the amplitude of message signal m of t therefore we can say the output of diode will depend upon the carrier signal c of t so the output of diode can be given as v2 of t is equal to v1 of t when c of t is greater than 0 and it will be 0 when c of t is less than 0 this output voltage of diode varies between 0 to v1 of t with a period t not which is equal to 1 by fc therefore we can say the diode output voltage v2 of t depends on the control signal gp of t therefore v2 of t can be written as v1 of t into gp of t let us call this as equation number 2 if we substitute equation 1 in equation 2 we can write v2 of t is equal to 
m of t plus a c cos 2 pi f c t into g p of t. Let us call this as equation number 3. Now we can represent the control signal g p of t in terms of Fourier series. Therefore, we can write g p of t is equal to 1 by 2 plus 2 by pi cos 2 pi f c t plus and so on. Let us take this as equation number 4. Let us substitute equation 4 in equation number 3. Therefore, we can write v2 of t is equal to m of t plus a c cos 2 pi f c t multiplied with 1 by 2 plus 2 by pi cos 2 pi f c t plus and so on. So if we multiply these terms we can write v2 of t is equal to 1 by 2 m of t plus 2 by pi m of t cos 2 pi f c t plus a c by 2 cos 2 pi f c t plus 2 a c by pi cos 2 pi f c t into cos 2 pi f c t plus and so on. Now this is the output voltage of the ideal diode. This signal is passed through a bandpass filter that is tuned to the frequency f c. That is why it will allow only the signals that are having the center frequency as f c. So this part of the signal does not consist of the frequency f c and this part of the signal represents a high frequency. That is why the bandpass filter will not allow this frequency as well as these high frequency. It will allow only this part of the frequency as the output of bandpass filter. So the output of bandpass filter is V2 dash of T. Therefore we can write V2 dash of T is equal to 2 by pi m of t into cos 2 pi f c t plus a c by 2 cos 2 pi f c t. Now we can write v2 dash of t is equal to if we take a c by 2 as common we can write this as 1 plus 4 by pi a c into m of t multiplied with cos 2 pi f c t. So here if you multiply these terms so we will get a c by 2 into cos 2 pi f c t and if you multiply a c by 2 into 4 by pi a c we will get 2 by pi. So 2 by pi m of t cos 2 pi f c t. So this term we can replace it by k a which is amplitude sensitivity parameter. Therefore we can write v2 dash of t is equal to a c by 2 into 1 plus k a m of t into cos 2 pi f c t. So this is the output of bandpass filter which is nothing but amplitude modulated wave. So this is AM wave. So this is the standard AM signal that is produced by switching modulator with carrier amplitude scaled down to AC by 2. This is about switching modulator. Hope you have understood the topic.
थैंक यू